right now in this lecture let us see the concept of differentiation okay so so for example if i have a signal called y of t if i have a signal called x of t then the derivative of that signal is defined by y of t equal to d by dt of x of t so for example if i take the signal x of t to be a triangle let us say from minus 1 to plus 1 the corresponding amplitude 1 let us try to find the derivative of this signal so if you look at it carefully equation of this straight line will be 1 plus t and the corresponding equation this side will be 1 minus t so if you differentiate this signal what happens So integral. So look at the signal from minus one to zero. The equation of the line is one plus t. So if you differentiate that, you will get one. And from zero to one, if you differentiate that, you will get minus one. Okay. So this is the derivative of x of. similarly if you take another example let us say a rectangle signal from minus 3 to plus 3 okay so the amplitude of the signal let us take it to be x of 1 now if you want to find the derivative of this signal note that according to classical mathematics because the signal is discontinuous at 3 and minus 3 so derivative does not exist but according to modern field of mathematics called generalized function all the signals are differentiable so obviously so what happens wherever there is discontinuity you have to replace that discontinuity with the dirac delta and the strength of dirac delta is equal to the amount of discontinuity so we call this fellow as a strength similarly here because the signal is jumping in negative direction you will get a negative dirac delta and the jump is again how much one so obviously because it is negative we have to put minus one so this is d by dt of x of note that between minus 3 to plus 3 amplitude of signal is 1 and hence derivative of 1 is 0 so this dirac delta exists as minus 3 and this dirac delta exists at plus 3. now let us try to find that the derivative of one more signal let us say this one okay let us say another we will take one more signal okay like this. so this let us say this is minus 1 and this is plus 1 this is minus 1 and this is plus 1 so obviously equation of this line will be 1 plus t and equation of this line will be minus 1 plus t okay so if you differentiate this signal how does the derivative of this signal look so if you look at this signal carefully so between minus 1 to 0 the amplitude of signal is 1 plus t so if you differentiate that it will be 1 so from minus 1 to 0 it is 1 next 0 to 1 amplitude of signal is minus 1 plus t so obviously if you differentiate that it will get 1 now but what happens at zero the signal is having discontinuity at zero and because signal is jumping from 1 to minus 1 so which is a negative jump so it it corresponds to a negative dirac delta of strength minus 2 at origin okay so this is my d by dt of x of t. if i take this as x of t. so as a last example so we will take one 
मोर डिसकंटिन्यूस सिग्नल विच इज ऑफ द फॉर्म लाइक दिस ओके लेट अस से दिस इज माइनस टू माइनस वन वन एंड टू एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ सिग्नल इज वन टू ओके नाउ इफ आई वांट टू फाइंड द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस सिग्नल हाउ डज दैट लुक सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस फेलो केयरफुली इट हैज फोर डिसकंटिन्यूटीज एट माइनस टू माइनस वन वन एंड टू रिस्पेक्टिवली सो ऑब्वियसली अगेन इफ यू लुक एट इट केयरफुली it has two positive discontinuities at minus 2 and minus 1 and two negative discontinuities at 1 and 2 so if we differentiate this signal so at minus 2 i will have a positive dirac delta again at the minus 1 i will have a positive dirac delta note that amplitude of the dirac delta at minus sorry strength of dirac delta at minus 1 is again 1 so amount of discontinuity is equal to the strength of dirac delta similarly at plus 1 what happens because the signal is jumping from 2 to 1 and because it is negative jump i will get a negative dirac delta with strength minus 1 similarly i will get one more negative dirac delta of strength minus 1 at 2 okay so this will be my again derivative of the signal x of Thank you